In this short symbolization video, I'm just going to go over very quickly the relationship between negation and quantifiers. This one says, even though not everyone is sad, comma, no one is happy unless they have a friend. Well, even though is one of those sort of phrases that uh, signifies a binary connective, and it pairs with this uh, comma, and of course the binary connective is a conjunction. Most, most things like this just mean and. So it says, not everyone is sad, even though, or and, no one is happy unless they have a friend. And notice again, each side of this comma, or each side of this conjunction, has a different subject. We're not talking about the same thing. So that means I can symbolize each side perfectly independently, and that's how I should do it. So not everyone is sad, uh, or not all people are sad. This is just to make sure that you're careful about negations of quantifiers. So if I ignore the not, uh, you can just symbolize everyone is sad, uh, and then you get, um, for all things, if you're a person, then you are uh, sad. Now, at this point, to make it not everyone is sad, you just have to ask where the negation goes. So some people will put it here, and this says, for anything, if you're a person, then you are sad. Sorry, not sad. If you're a person, then you're not sad. Does that mean not everyone is sad? Well, no, it actually means something entirely different, so it doesn't go there. The, a more common mistake is actually to put here. For everything, if you're not a person, then you are sad. Well, that actually says uh, a rock is sad, um, this mouse pad is sad, and so on. But that's not really what we're saying at all when we say not everyone is sad. So you don't put it there. Now, the last reasonable spot is in front of the quantifier, and of course this is right. This just says not everyone, so not the case that all things that are people are sad. Another natural way to express this is instead to use the existential. So you could have written the following variant, ax and dx, and this is, of course, the canonical form of the existential, and now we ask where to put the negation. Well, if I put it here, I get it's not the case that there is uh, something that is a person and sad. Uh, that's too strong of a claim. And if I put it here, this says there is something that's not a person and sad, I don't know, like your cat, uh, but that doesn't seem to follow at all from the statement, not everyone is sad. So the right place to put the negation is here. There is something that is a person and is not sad. And so if you stare at these, you should realize that these are equivalents. And this is how you just want to be careful with negations and quantifiers. You need to make sure you put it in the right spot and you genuinely capture the meaning. At this point, I can do the other side. I have the and, and that's that. Now the other side is a little tricky. It says no one is happy unless they have a friend. But the problem is that there's this interaction with the negation here and the unless, so it becomes a little unclear what we're talking about. I find that the easiest way to symbolize such a sentence is actually by paraphrasing it into a universal. And if I'm saying no one is happy unless they have a friend, it really seems to say everyone is unhappy unless they have a friend. And that way, the negation is clearly more modifying the happiness than the no one. Uh, and then I'll show you the alternate form of this, which essentially captures the same meaning. So the way I normally symbolize something like this is a universal. And I want to say that everyone, so for all things, if you're a person, then you have the property that you are unhappy unless you have a friend. So unhappy is not HX, unless is just or, they have a friend is fx. And that's how you would symbolize the negation with the existential here that seems to actually be modifying the happy as opposed to the person. Now, if you really do want to see this as a negated existential, it's not that difficult to see how we could convert this. So I'm going to do sort of a mini derivation here, and I'm going to focus on this. So if I say not hx or fx, this is perfectly equivalent to saying negation uh, hx and not fx. And then so if I see it this way, I could replace these two, and then I rip out the negation to the front using my sort of alternate form of negation, and I would arrive at this. Now, I don't recommend that you actually do uh, some sort of uh, logical manipulation here, but what I wanted to show you is that they are equivalent. More importantly, you might actually just paraphrase this in this way. So if it says no one is happy unless they have a friend, what this is really saying is it can't be the case that there is someone 
who is happy and at the same time has no friends. So the negated existential case must rule out the possibility that is the counterexample to this claim. So you can look at this in one of the two ways. One is to think that this is the universal, and the other is to think that this is the negated existential form. Not all people drink coffee, but at least one person does even though they don't like it. So not all people drink coffee. This is, again, uh, some sort of uh, negated uh, quantifier. There is my main connective, which is the comma but. So not all people drink coffee. That's just like above. It's not the case that for everything, if you're a person, then you drink coffee. And of course, the variant form of this, which is perfectly acceptable, and you can see it either way, is to have it this way. Uh, there is something that's a person and doesn't drink coffee, which of course means not all people drink coffee. And then we have but, that, at least one person does, even though they don't like it. Uh, here, the negation clearly seems to be about uh, liking it, and it's not negating the quantifier. So this is a straightforward symbolization. At least one is just this. I'll leave it as x. Uh, one person does, uh, which is, of course, drink coffee. So there is something that is a person and drinks coffee. And of course, the group here is the person. The property is drinks coffee even though they don't like it, even though is the main connective of the property. But that's just an and, so I could put this bracket in. I don't even need it. Uh, they don't like it. Not fx. And that's it. So with negated quantifiers, you just need to be careful, take your time, and make sure you don't confuse things like not all uh, with none. That's a very sort of common mistake. And so we were very careful going through earlier the sort of differences in meanings and symbolizations.